Welcome. In this video, we're going to be looking at modeling with linear inequalities. So a few key things that we want to look at um, before we get started. Um, some vocabulary here. So if something is no more than something, that means it can be up to and equal to, but not bigger. So whatever we're looking at, if it's no more than, it has to be less than or equal to whatever the thing is. Um, no less than means whatever we're looking at has to be at least greater than or equal to whatever the value is. Oh, at least. Look, I just used that. Whatever we're looking at has to be bigger than or equal to the value. At most means whatever we're looking at has to be less than or equal to whatever our value is. Okay, so our variable is always going in this expression here on the left. Okay. Um, so if we're writing these inequalities, we're thinking just the same way as writing our equation. So we're still going to um, follow that process that we are going to define the variable, write the inequality, solve, and then interpret back to the situation. So Alex works at the Heart of the Valley Animal Shelter. He is paid $10 per hour, look right there, and has $25 in his savings. He needs at least $750 to go to a concert in Las Vegas. How many hours does he need to work to be able to attend the concert? So um, we know some things here. He already has $25. So this is Alex's money. Has to be at least... 750. Okay, so that's kind of our thought process there. So what's changing Alex's money? Well, how long he works. So our variable is going to have to be the number of hours worked. Okay. So we already know he has $25. That's not changing. That's a constant. Plus he's earning $10 for each hour he works. So that's a nice rate, $10 times the number of hours will tell us how much money he earns. His money here, what he has saved plus what he's earning has to be at least $750. Once we have our inequality, we're just solving. Keep in mind, solving inequalities just like solving equations, except for if we divide or multiply by a negative number, we have to flip that symbol around. So keeping in mind, we're keeping a nice balance here get your variable by itself. Wow, that's a 25. So 10x has to be greater than or equal to 725 divided by 10. So x has to be greater than or equal to 72.5. Okay, so what does this mean back in terms of the context is that Alex must work at least 72 and a half hours. So he could work 73 hours. He could work 80 hours. That would be acceptable, but he has to work at least 72 and a half hours. Okay, right, let's try another one. A red kite is five feet off the ground and rising at eight feet per second. Ooh, right, feet per second. A blue kite is 180 feet off the ground and is rising at five feet per second. How long will it take the red kite to be higher than the blue kite? So we want the red kite to be higher than the blue kite. Which means the red height is larger than the blue's height. Um, it says round your answer to the nearest second. I'm just gonna cross off nearest here um, because since this isn't an inequality, we wanna make the answer actually work. Um, so we want to round to the second, um, so I don't want to know it's 2.4 seconds. If it was 2.4 seconds, then we'd have to go up to three seconds to get the red kite higher than the blue kite. Yep. Uh, we'll come back to that when we get a little closer. So the red kite, what's happening? It is five feet. That's a constant. Where it's starting is not changing. It's at five feet. It's rising eight feet per second. Ooh, we should probably define a variable. X equals the number of seconds. So our red kite is five feet plus an additional eight feet per second. We want that to be greater than the blue kite, which is 180 feet and is rising at five feet per
per second. Okay, now that we have our inequality, we are going to um, solve for our variable. So let's get our variable on the same side. Remember, solving inequalities, just like solving equations, make sure you're doing things to both sides of your inequality. Uh, 3x is greater than 180, subtract 5. 3x is greater than 175. Okay, and then we're just going to divide by 3. I don't think 175 is nicely divisible by 3, which is okay. 175 divided by 3. Oh, yep, we get 58 and a third. So x has to be greater than 58.3 repeating. So this is where we come back to that round your answer to the second. So if x has to be greater than 58.3 repeating, if we go down to the near second, at 58 seconds, the red kite is not higher than the blue kite. So it needs to rise for at least 59 seconds, right? One more second, um, it will be higher, right? Because 59 is greater than 58.3. 58 is not, okay? Um, so be careful when you're looking at your context there. You can't see my answer. Um, that you're putting it back in context with some logic and reasoning involved there. So um, that is all for our uh, inequalities today. Uh, thank you for watching.